The greatest adventure is what lies ahead. Let go of the moment. We're back. We're back. We're back. And check it out, guy. Dude, we haven't done a mail episode in so long that, like, so much of our mail got deleted. Isn't, yep. that, isn't that great? Yeah, we're really good at this. We're, we're very professional. Now, keep in mind, friends, if that is your real names, um... I mean, only time me and Mook Collect get on these characters is to record these episodes. And the only time we check the mail, because there's so much mail, is on the, the mail time episodes. So, in advance, before someone gets very angry at us that we didn't reply or, you know, whatever, to their message. Um, I gotta get my spot right here on top of the <laughs> mailbox. Dude, friend, I'm trying to explain. Mm -hmm. don't, don't distract me. Okay, um, carry on. Um, yeah, so before someone gets mad... Uh, yeah, we 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 apologize. Ew. You know. Ew. Ew. <laughs> so let's start it off. Let's I got the first one. Oh, it says. Oh, well, one, one reading. More thing. Wait. Wait. I just have reading. One I had one more thing to <clears throat> say. All I had to say was that because we don't have that much, we're gonna record this real quick, where we're you know fucking uh doing the mail, and then we're gonna go back to the leveling thing. Okay, let's go. Okay, people have been waiting for a response for long enough. Jeez! Okay, God, shut okay. Okay, well, my first mail is from Nagradagul. And he says, me. Greetings, faggot! <laughs> and he says, Hello, Mooklark! Greetings from Finland. Sumai Pereku. I can't read Finnish. What did he say? What did he say? Sumai Perekuli. Sumai. Perekuli? Maybe? Maybe? Wait, wait. It's it's Perkele. Okay, thank you, translator. Yeah. You might remember me from Nixium Stream. I was the Worgen Hunter, and when you mentioned my name, it felt so good. Mm. Whoever makes some serious business machinery on your channel, <laughs> keep up the good work. P.S. Ah oh, no, more. Hey, haste over to Nixium. <laughs> Do you know what that means? What do you say? Hey, hey, Heista Vitu Nixium. Haha, <laughs> JK. Uh, Hasht hashtag troll master race. Oh, we got a troll here. Uh, I, I don't know what that means. Yeah, me neither. My one day I am going to. One day I'm going to make Machinima of Charles and Gregory. It will take some time, but it is coming! PPS, see ya, faggot. <laughs> what a nice young man. What a, what a nice young Finn. Dude, Finland has been mentioned. Gather at the town square. Mm-hmm. So anyway, he did ask, uh, will I ever make some serious machinima? I think I talked about that in the last episode, and the answer's maybe. Uh, I doubt I'll make something along the lines of, like, Nixium storytelling, uh, you know, like with the Druid. I said I'd maybe make a horror or something, I'd mm. enjoy that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say maybe for now, <laughs> I'll never rule it out. Yeah, dude. But uh, I enjoy making funny videos for now, but, you know, never say never. It's a whole bunch of maybes when it comes to us. Mm -hmm. Crazy, you never know. What great answers. They waited, uh, what, like a few months for this? <laughs> yeah, it's like, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, friend. Well, I mean, it's all you can say. I mean, you know, you don't know. It's not <laughs> like, you know, it's not like you have a boss, like, saying, you gotta do this. You can just do whatever you feel like. It's all, mm -hmm. it's all what's in the feels, you know? Mm hmm I have one. All right. I have Go one on. from Nixie Cluck, and it's called Roast Beef, a Nixie Cluck fanfic. Oh, gosh. Um, hi. I'm... At Illusionary's Twitch. Sorry, there's your plug. Um, <laughs> roast beef. One day, Charles and Gregory were rolling around naked in the flowers. Then a strange human paladin approached. Hello, everyone. Oh my goodness, Charles said. It's novel. Novel then one shot the two torn with his MLG paladin skills. <laughs> novel, not that. <laughs> novel then put Charles and Gregory in his inventory in Hearthstone. He then picked up the cooking profession and made a big roast dinner for all the ERPers of Goldshire. The end. That was oh. the worst story I've ever heard. Wow. Well, um, I mean... I was expecting a little, you know, rumpy pumpy, but, uh... <laughs> a little rumpy pumpy. A little rumpy pumpy, you know, a little, I, little I, I, I'm, beef I'm, on beef. Beef I'm, on paladin. I'm, I'm fully aware of what you are implying, friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, was, okay. Dude, where was the character development? Where was the where was the overarching climax? The character of the story? development was that our characters went from being alive to being dead. That's character development. No, it's not. 
Yeah, it is. That's the end of character development. That's when the character ends. Yeah. Gosh. That's the end of the story. Oh my goodness. If you're going to write an erotic novel, you need to have epic character development and a deep, thought-provoking message. You gotta have a good climax, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Wow. Gotta, gotta get that, that nice, you know, that nice finishing shot. The vinegar face, they call it. The vinegar face, yeah, you'd know all about it. Mm-hmm. All right. And he also I... sent me a coffer. Oh. Thank you, That's Nixie Cluck. <laughs> Thank you. I got a message from I love you, and the subject is just love. Oh, me too. It says, Gregory, how does love work? Tell me, please. Use this linen cloth to save your meat bag. And no, I did not use the auction house. And he sent me 200 linen cloth. Mm. Andy, how does love work? Well, I want to know what love is. Um, <laughs> love. Love is like uh, a good... Uh, it's, like, it's like when <laughs> the light in the sky hits your pizza pie. That's amore. And that's love. Okay. Love is like a good pizza. You know, you don't want to put too many toppings on, if you get what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Some people want pineapple on their pizza, but I don't think that's good. Ew. Yeah, you don't want pineapple on your pizza. What? What, but are, you, what are you saying? I'm saying love is like a pizza. Okay. A good pizza. Just don't overload it with toppings, you know. Get some good ones. Get some pepperoni on there. Maybe oh. some peppers. I don't know. You say oh! I don't know what the hell you're saying. So, uh... <laughs> So my I love you said, mm -hmm. uh, the subject was triple dot. My I love you said, hello, Charles. Do you want to die? If so, call me. This is a gift for now. Love you. Pass you. Me that number. <laughs> love you. Main name is Safuskaka, and I love you sent me two hundred Murloc fins. <laughs> and it makes me. Okay. Well, it makes. I was about to say. I was about to say, did you seriously go out and grind 200 murloc fins, which I'm assuming you didn't, and if you didn't, that means you went to the auction house and bought 200 murloc fins, <laughs> and it's like, why? Why? I needed it. I like it. It's love. That's a lot of murloc fins. Put murloc fins on pizza. Mm. <laughs> Enough of your pizza, I swear. Almost as bad as your S talk. Okay, Snaky I talk. got mail. Hold on, I didn't say thank you, and I didn't answer the question. Goodness, first hurry of, it up, first come all, on! First of all, no, I don't want to die yet, I got too much to do. And thank you for the Murloc fans. Okay, I'm done now. Okay. Well, I got mail from Rothoof. Me too. The subject, the Dark Fusion, is it the same piece Me of too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Reading. Greetings, fellow Torin. I came from a faraway dimension to warn you. My future, the Goldbloom and his dinosaur army took over. Oh, in his future, sorry. Goldbloom? <laughs> Jeff Goldbloom. Goldbloom, maybe? Well, it's not It's not written like that, it's Bloom. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see now. Goldbloom, yeah. Yeah. To prevent total destruction of our beloved Charles... Uh, our beloved Charles, I think. <laughs> our beloved Charles took an offer from a... Mighty and powerful hungry death knight, Nixium. <laughs> this became one, the Tauren Death Knight Rothoof. Oh, he's talking about himself here. Yeah. Oh. Even you fused with the mighty and grumpy warlock. It's a warlock now? But we did betray the both of you. I silenced a part of me to warn you. Don't let this is like a fever dream of a, a story. <laughs> Don't let Charles become me. You must prevent him from the fusion. Good luck. Jesus Christ. I... Whoa. What? <laughs> I... Well, that's what it says. Don't worry. He, he elaborates on the story more in my message. Okay. Oh, and he also sent me eight gold and a black mushroom. He's probably been eating <laughs> one too many of these. But... <laughs> he said to me, he says, um... I greet you as you are part of me. My name is Rothoof and I came from a distant reality. I came to warn you. In my world, the Jeff Goldblum took over with his dinosaur army. To save my world, you and the great Nixium had to become one, the Tauren Death Knight. Even Mukluk did the same with another Tauren, but they died. Sadly, no. you weren't ready to face dinos. We come to warn you and you should train your dino killing. Take a potion. We will meet again. And he sent me 20 gold. 
Am and I he... the one that dies in the future? <laughs> and and uh, he sent me 20 gold and a healing tonic. And, um... Um... Yeah, dude. I was gonna say oh, something. he sent you something useful. He sent me mushrooms. Oh, uh, what, what? There was something I was gonna say in regards to something you said in here. Same world than the Torin, sadly. Oh yeah, it's the fact that sadly you weren't ready to face the dinos. I was gonna say, wow, this sounds this sounds just like that uh that this uh that that one plot line from Dragon Ball Z. Oh yes. Um... Remember, remember when Trunks came back in time and he was like, "Yo, Goku, <laughs> these androids and shit are gonna attack, and you're gonna die of a heart attack." And Goku's like, "Dude, I'm like the biggest Mary Sue on the planet. How am I gonna die from a heart attack?" And then he didn't. You're a faggot. I fucking remember that. <laughs> you remember that too. You no, you had a childhood. Oh wait, no, did. you didn't. You don't. You don't remember that. You didn't. You didn't go I, Super Saiyan in your bathroom. No. Oh I my was, god. You are a loser. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are a loser. <laughs> I used to dye my hair uh, gold, and I'd scream at a reflection of myself in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Now you're thinking. <laughs> And then, like, you'd see, like, a little hair go, like, pink, and you'd be like, oh, I did it. <laughs> and then you'd go on, like... the guy would stand about 30 yards away with his arms crossed, going, <laughs> for five and then, episodes. And no, no then, no, then you'd go out and start, like, you know, like, punching, like, the pillar that, like, you know, holds up your house. But you wouldn't punch too hard, because you didn't want to hurt your hands. You didn't want to hurt yourself, you yeah. precious little darling. <laughs> you didn't want to hurt your hands, so you go, like, start, you go and start throwing pillows around and shit. Like, like kicking them while they're in the air, you know? Jesus Christ. Dude. God damn, Mukla, come on. Weren't you a, oh, yeah. a little boy at one point? <laughs> oh wait, I forgot, you were just being touched the entire time. You didn't have time to be a Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, dude, it sounds just like the uh, storyline with Trunks coming back in time to save Goku from the heart attack and the androids, Android 17 and 18. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem, friend. <laughs> okay. Th thank you for thank you for the message, Raho. <laughs> thank you, Raho. All right. Is your uh, next person I am Jaraxix? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Jiraxics. Go on. Oh, don't you want to read it since I read the other one first? Okay. He says, "What's up?" Exclamation stuff. This is Jaraxix. Eridraxus. Jaraxus. Eridor, Lord of the Burning Legion. As the subject of the letter already revealed, which is a challenge, um, I've got a challenge for you. And that basic ex 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 explanation symbols and blah, 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 Gregory. Are you ready? No? Good. In order to reveal the question, you'll have to work together by reading one word each. You, Charles, will start. That's me. Dear. Mm -hmm. Adventures. Who? Do. You think will be the end boss in Legion. I don't know. We'll have to ask the adventures. Adventures. That's what he said in my in my mail. He didn't say adventurers. He said adventures. Dude, ad adventures. Sorry, I'm being a nitpicky asshole. Oh my goodness, you grammar I'm sorry. Nazi. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dear adventurers. Who do you think yeah. will be the the last boss in Legion? I think uh, I think it was kind of leaked or potentially revealed that it's going to be Sylvanas. So mm, is it? Yeah, I've heard that. From a uh, few people. I, I didn't see anything about that. I heard some rumors that maybe she'll be a boss, but um, it's not confirmed. But maybe. Uh, there's been hints. I mean, obviously, an expansion called Legion. There must be something to do with the Legion, and the Tomb of Sargeras is right there. I, I wouldn't mm. be surprised if it was like the reanimated avatar of Sargeras or something. Yeah, yeah. They have to bring the big guy into play at some point, and they don't want to. I imagine they don't want to like uh, blow their load with him. Like they won't have you kill him, you know, because he's like the big bad of the yeah, Warcraft yeah. universe. So it'll be something like he. His soul inhabits the body of the Avatar of Sargeras, and you fight that, probably. That's yeah. my bet, anyway. That's that's my bet. Yeah, I mean, I, I I do dearly hope that Sylvanas is not the last boss, because I would rather them devote an entire expansion to the Forsaken, since they're the best race. So, mm. my, my opinion. He also said at the end, jokes, jokes aside, aside, yeah. yeah. 
Love the vids. Jaraxxus of the Burning Legion. Woo. You face Jaraxxus! Burn our lord of the Burning Legion! <laughs> well, thank you, Jaraxxus. Hopefully that answers your question. Jaraxxus? You sound it weird. Jaraxxus. It's because... Well, <laughs> it's because a character in my book is named Jaraxxus. Or, well, huh. it's it's Jaxxus. So... Jack. Did, Jack six. Jackie. Jackie. Jackie Chan Adventures. Remember Jackie, Jackie Chan. Chan Adventures? I do remember that. Oh! Oh, I oh god. Oh Jackie. god, man. You're such a fucking faggot remembering that <laughs> shit. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, you must do research, motherfucker. I remember Listen, that. Bro. Listen, yeah. bro. Jackie Chan Adventures. Hey. That is the best. Best anime out there next to Cory in the house. <laughs> it was pretty good anime. Dude, they like got like the talismans that did something and like... They did something. They, they did something. I don't remember what the hell they did. They just had like powers or some One shit. One of them made you jump really high. Oh yeah, that's right. But Jackie Chan could already do that so it didn't fucking matter. So... <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's Jackie Chan. He could do anything. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright. Is the next one from George's? No, I've got one from Yes Moo Nix. Oh. Go. Says, uh, so, okay. Oh, I think this is a reply. I think I must have replied to the guy. He said, okay, sorry, guy, here is all I owe you, chum. He sent me 31 copper. I wish I could remember what I had said to him before. Oh my goodness. Mukla. <laughs> I threatened him, apparently, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I, just, I said something along. I think he sent me, um, something in the mail, and I just mailed back, like, hey, thanks. Chum. Thanks, friend. <laughs> I don't know what I can't remember. It was so long ago. That's right, man. Okay. It's, been a, it's been a month, so. But anyway, he sent me 36 copper. Oh, th there you go, Chum. Thank you, Chum. Your, <laughs> the debt is paid. <laughs> I got a message from George's. Mm -hmm. there is no... Oh, actually, I do have that as well. The subject is sex. There is yeah. no message, but he sent me one copper. And a worn battle axe. So I know oh, that he, I know, sir, that you were a level one orc. <laughs> he sent orc me warrior. one copper and a brawler's vest. I see. Can yeah. I put it on quick? No. Why? Because. He sent it to me. You don't know how to put that on. He wants me to look sexy. People people send me stuff all the time and I don't put it on. Look at that. Look Ew. how sexy I am. Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, he might have like slept in that thing. This is the finest lingerie this side of Silverman. I ever tell you the story of my friend Ben and how he was looking for a bunny outfit at one point, and he was looking on Craigslist for a rabbit outfit, but he was he afraid that, like, he was afraid that, like, some homeless guy would, like, be, like, would probably have, like, <laughs> slept in the rabbit outfit, so he decided not to get a rabbit outfit. <laughs> Why would a homeless guy have a rabbit outfit? Why would the homeless guy not just spend money on a place to stay for a night? I'm surprised your first question was, why did he want a rabbit outfit? <laughs> Oh, oh, no, Ben. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember. I just remember him saying, like, yeah, I'm looking for a rabbit outfit. Like, Why? So I just want one. But he was my afraid... friend has, like, <laughs> he had, a, my friend has, like, a giant taco outfit and a giant banana oh, you, outfit. You mean Brutal Static? No, it's not Brutal. But Brutal, brutal does have a taco outfit. Yes, he does. He's got a taco hat, too. He does. He's the admiral of the taco fleet. Hmm. Mm hmm Well, thank you for the message, friend. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. The so the mail from for me. I got three more. Okay, I read them. I got one from Hell's Orc. Oh boy. Um, Hell's Orc. Uh, the subject is Skunky Ailmental. He says, "Greetings, my friends. It is I, Bagman. LOL. I hope you had a brilliant Christmas. Yeah, and a happy New Year. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to watching more of your fantastic videos. Smiley face. Good wishes and so on. Wait." Good wishes, and so on, so on, from Hell's Orc the Bagman. P.S. Please split this gold with Mooclock. Why in the hell would I do that? He sent me a thousand gold, and also a skunky ailmental, and a shard of... I don't know. Hold on. Apparently I have to split this gold with you. Here, let me split. Here you go, trade. It's a thousand gold. Okay. So split down the middle. Yep. That sounds about right. <laughs> Three gold. So yeah, I split it awesome. with him. I split it with him. You saw you it. You sucker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright, it's so a skunky elemental. First of all, what does a skunky elemental look like? Let's summon him. Oh. Cool. 
if you click it, Whoa. it makes a weird noise. Hey! Yeah. And then there's this thing. I have no idea what this thing is. Come on. Ah, uh, this thingy. I've seen this before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get that from completing the quests in uh, Tanan, I think. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Alright, cool. Thank you, friend. Um, yeah, Hell's Orc, man. Dude, thank you for the gold, which I split with Mukluk. And uh, thank you for the two pets, sir. More videos are coming soon, Mr. Bagman. Yeah. And you don't have any more, he said. Nope. Okay, Team K Jelly. So, K Jelly is one of my moderators on my mm -hmm. Twitch stream. K Jelly. And uh, he said, <laughs> he said, hashtag Team K Jelly all the way. I don't know why he'd send that, but he sent me one copper and a leg meat. Um, K Jelly, <laughs> one copper, I get it. K Jelly always sends me one dollar, like tips, like throughout the thing. He's the king of doll hairs. Mm. But, um, Thank you, K Jelly, for your your false propaganda for your filthy heathen team. What a yeah. generous man. What a generous man. And the last message. Last message. Uh, from Innkeeper. Subject is re penalty charge notice. Dear Charles, re penalty charge notice. On the 18th October 2015, you and your companion Gregory stayed at my inn in Splinter Tree Posts. Before leaving, you proceeded to vomit, not once, but twice oh, inside mm, of my mm, establishment. Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. <laughs> cut it off. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There's no, no, you, everyone listening, don't listen to these allegations. This is just slander. Don't listen to this. This is all lies. <laughs> this disgusting act was a complete, or wait, was a complete disregard for myself and my business. Please accept this letter as a penalty charge notice for the sum of 50,000 gold, which is to be paid within one week of the receiving of this letter. Regards, no. Innkeeper K-List, Splinter Tree Post. Hang, hang up the letter. Hang up the letter, don't <laughs> hang, close it. Delete it, up. throw it away. There's no uh, proof. Um, yeah, I mean, that could have been anybody that vomited. Could have been any Tauren that looked like us. Mm-hmm. Could have been yeah, any Charles yeah. and Gregory. You don't know. Yeah. You know? It's a very, they're very common names amongst Tauren. I don't even have 50,000 gold, so you're SOL. Hmm. So. Yeah, deal with Sends it. Sends debt collectors after us. <laughs> debt collectors, yeah. <laughs> like in one episode, we'll be recording, and, all, and a guy named Debt Collector will run up to us, but hey, we're here for the money. Here for you the giving money. people ideas. <laughs> no, I'm gonna delete the letter. You, you, you guys saw nothing. No proof. You saw nothing. It's like okay, that's it. I'm done. That's it. Okay. I'm done, friend. I guess we get back to questing <laughs> now. We can go back to questing now. How exciting back is up. this? Sargeron? Huh? Back up in Sargeron? Uh, well, why don't we just get the quest here? Or do you just want to stay here? here? Yeah. Get the quest yeah. here and just, you know, I mean, I guess. Get that code out. Hey. So you want to keep talking about Dragon Ball Z? Oh yeah, I love Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, dude. Oh, I did used to watch it. I just can't remember anything about it. I remember... Hmm. You don't remember it's a deep, intricate plots? That All I remember was it persons? reached the part where there was a big fat pink guy, and he <laughs> turned Boo. people into ch that's him, mm -hmm. and he turned people into chocolate. And I, I think that's when I stopped watching. I was like, I think I'm done with this show now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that episode. He turned a guy into a, a tiny chocolate, and then he ate him. And I was like, okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, I didn't watch him boo. I remember all that shit. I remember all of it. Where we gotta go? We just gotta go everywhere. Let me know hey, where you're ready. Go to the dots. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. We have to get some blood-filled leeches. Mm. What that means. Throws a bottle of leeches on a rejuvenated thunder lizard. Okay. Oh, also gotta kill these lashers. Lovely. Wee, wee. So with Legion coming back online tonight, do you have any Apparently. plans to do more streams? Apparently. Yeah, I mean, uh, if, if Legion is coming online tonight, then maybe tomorrow, uh, today is, uh, today's Wednesday, I'm recording this, the day that I decided not to stream, um, then tomorrow maybe I'll record, or like, stream the alpha stuff. Hmm. So, yeah, did you already throw that stuff on there? First oh, time. a rejuvenated Thunder Lizard. Oh, okay, I see. Whoopsie. Let's see. When killed, a blood-filled leech will crawl from the lizard's corpse. There we go. Go. 
Oh, okay. I get it. Okay, you gotta throw it and then kill it. I see. So here's a question for you. Alright, what's your question, oh, friend? Rolling. Alright. Uh, with Legion coming out, there's gonna be a load of new zones available for testing on the alpha. Um, what Ooh. kind of story in World of Warcraft would you like to be told in the future? Like, after Legion? In Legion, after Legion, what would you like to see from, uh, certain characters or, or any kind of story? Uh, what would you like to see happen? I'd like to see happen. Just make an expansion, all based on the Forsaken. Just on the Forsaken? Well, they do play a part in Legion. I know, but just make a whole expansion about them. Since oh, nice race. Just on them. A little leech didn't pop out. You gotta make sure that you... Wait, yes it did. Where are you? Over here, I killed okay. this plant. Oh, okay. I'm gathering leeches. It's nasty. You have nasty a little class. leech pop out the lizard? Just, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Just making an expansion all about the Forsaken and how cool they are. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. Um, just have, have Anduin get killed, and that'd hmm. be pretty cool. I don't and, think he is. I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, you know, so-and-so dies in Legion, so... So-and-so. Yeah, so-and-so dies, you know, if you know what I mean. Did you throw a leech on him? No. I did throw a thing on him. Well, then show it for me. Perhaps you should check the debuffs, friend. I did. There was no leech debuff. Look. Talking, talking shit. Talking shit. I just looted. I just looted a leech off of him. Ew. So nasty. Some giant butt or leech monsters inside of him. Okay, so I know you go, you asked me this question because I know that you have some big answer that you want to like tell everybody. No, not really. Oh. I was just gonna say like uh, I don't know what I'd like to see. Oh. I guess. I mean, I am a sucker for the Scourge, I do miss the Scourge a fair bit. Mm -hmm. And, in a sense, someone from the Scourge is involved in Legion. Mm -hmm. um, but, I don't think... I don't know, do you think we'd ever see uh, them playing a big part again? Uh, I hope so, I'd like my Necromancer class. <laughs> yeah. that'd, be, that'd be great. If Give me only. that shit. Give me it. I don't know. I mean... Legion's gonna, like, there's a lot riding on Legion, I mean, since Warlords has ran off. Um, but, yeah, I do wonder where they're gonna go from, like, how are they gonna go up from Legion afterwards? Because there's so much happening in this expansion. Yeah, yeah. Here's, here's, a, here's actually a genuine question. Like, I mean, based on, like, all this stuff, you know, that you've experienced in the Alpha, uh, I'm asking this because a friend of mine asked me this the other day, Mm. Um, based on like all the stuff that you like, you know, I've seen in the alpha since you've played on there, and based on like you know what you know is coming in the expansion or should be coming, um, mm. like on a scale of like one to ten, like how excited you want me are to you? Do numbers. Yeah, like on a scale because I know that you love scales. On a oh, scale I love of scales. One to 10, okay, fine. On a scale of banana to uh, to Abercrombie, <laughs> like how. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you I'll give you an in-depth answer, kind of. Um, I mean, I am kind of excited for Legion. Um, I'm more excited for it than I was for Warlords because uh, I don't really like alternate dimension crap anyway. Yeah. Like any time a story starts revolving around alternate dimensions or clones or, or time travel, clones. It, it, it clones. This is it. I, I think I, I we, said it to you back before, to the but Star Wars I, discussion again. <laughs> No, not like that, but uh, I think I said to you before that I feel like WoW's, <laughs> WoW's story and the way it's presented uh, in recent years is, is a lot like a comic book. Mm. You, know, you have like heroes and villains that you kind of root for and they're the characters that people have favorites of. And a lot seems to revolve around these characters, right? Mm. Um, that's why, I like, I mean, look at a Hearthstone and they put all the characters on the cards, for goodness sake. But um, in comic books, you can kind of tell when a story or, or a character has just gone on for so long that they're running out of ideas. And a good indication of that is when they start doing alternate dimensions or cloning or doppelgangers or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I really didn't like about Warlords, like just going into it. Like straight away I was like, alternate dimension, no please, there must be other ideas you have. Hmm. There must be other stories that you can tell without resorting to this. And they do! So, I, I don't really understand why <laughs> what Willows of Draenor even exists, besides, you know, a, a very quick, like, playing off of people's nostalgia for these old characters. Mm -hmm. um, 
But with Legion's story, I'm, I'm much more excited to see uh, what happens with the characters and how things unfold and there are new things to learn. You're going to learn a lot about, I imagine, Druidism in this mm. expansion. Mm -hmm. uh, you're probably going to learn a fair bit about Ashara. Uh, you're going to learn a bit uh, more about the Legion itself, what their goals are, and even more about the Vrykul who didn't side with the Lich King. All mm -hmm. cool stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, c I still can't. What's the word? like? I, I still can't I... forget about yeah what happened with Warlords because Warlords could have been good, even even though I wasn't fond of alternate dimensions and, and stuff like that. It still could have been good, right? Mm -hmm. Like in the end, it doesn't really matter as long as there's stuff to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, the the <coughs> story in a way, it, it, it's just sort of it's a thread to hang you know the game on, in a sense, especially yeah. with MMOs. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was just that there was so such a lack of sort of content and things to do in the world. Uh, dungeons, I mean, eight dungeons, and one of them's a, a, a remake of an old one. That was that wasn't good. Mm -hmm. Um, but in Legion, you know, they, they got more. They said ten, right? Ten <coughs> dungeons, and there's a new dungeon system coming in. Mm -hmm. As long as there is a reason for me to be out in the world, that will keep me happy. Yeah, you know, it's it's the world of Warcraft, something that will keep me involved in the world. And at the moment, we can't really tell on the alpha because you can't get to max level yet and see what the content is yeah. at higher levels. Um, so I guess in a way, I. I am excited to get the hell out of Warlords. Mm -hmm. um, whether I'm excited or not for, for Legion itself, uh, it's hard to say. Mm. I guess if if I can't really give an answer, I guess in a sense is I'm not really hyped. I'm not hyped for it. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to buy it. But, uh, well, I played for a month or so, but if there's not content to... <coughs> keep me entertained beyond that I'm just gonna cancel myself mm -hmm. yeah I mean like for me uh, when it comes to because I've been playing the alpha and everything and um, you know I've gotten to play with the artifact weapons and you know I've got to you know see the new zones and everything and yada 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 mm -hmm. and uh, I mean you know, tonight, I mean, if the alpha does go on online tonight, I mean, I would be happy to, like, get on there and, like, kind of explore a little bit mm -hmm. before I work on How to Monk and um, kind of see, you know, what have they put in, you know, if they put in anything at all since the yeah. holiday season. And, uh, you know, everything's unpolished right now and everything's kind of unfinished, but I, I do get, like, the general idea of, like, kind of what's, what's going down um, and kind of what it is going to feel like. And, mm -hmm. um, to be honest, it's like when it comes to Legion, uh, from a from a story perspective, like, um, I mean, I, I do I do agree that it's like, oh, I'm, I'm not, I was not a fan of the whole alternate timeline thing and all that mm -hmm. crap. But uh, when it comes to like, like, <laughs> it's just I mean, it's just the Legion attacks and you know, oh, and they're you know they're gonna paint this whole thing like, oh, the Legion is. Oh my gosh! Like they're like this huge threat, and like they're pushing us back, and oh shit! And well, well just... they're, they're Warcraft's main villains in a sense, you could say. Well, yeah, I know, but then we're just we're just gonna beat them. Yeah, I mean, I mean like, I mean, there's not, I mean, the story is predictable unless Blizzard do, does something crazy, like the Legion actually somehow wins, which is not gonna happen. Um, well, we we fight them back, but a great loss. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's that's what they did with Northrend. They were like, oh, yes, we, we won against the War of the Lich King, but at a great cost. Okay, so here comes Deathwing. Um, you know, it's just going to be kind of like a, like just a footnote in like a, you know, a web story. But, uh, I mean, the story is pretty much predictable. There's there's nothing really, to be completely honest, there, there's nothing really in Legion that so far has really, like, captured me and been like, wow, like... Um, to me, like, I'm, I'm excited to get out of Warlords, but if I was to say I'm excited to play Legion, I would kind of be a lie. I mean, because mm. at this point, like, I, I guess I just don't care. Mm. I mean, in a lot of ways, like, I just don't care. It's like, oh, yeah, it'll be all right. I mean, like, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'll, I'll, that's, that, I think, yeah, I think that's the best way I can describe my feelings. It's like, oh, I just think it'll be all right. Yeah. 
Um, and, but then again, that, would... might, that might that might just be because before someone gets mad at me, that might just be because of the fact that um, I was very hyped for Warlords, like a lot of people were. And then when three fourths of the stuff they said, "Oh, we're gonna put all this in," was removed for mm. whatever reason, um, yeah. it was like, "Oh, okay." So I guess what you're trying to say is it, you're finding it hard to get excited when looking at Blizzard's track record <laughs> over the last couple of years has been kind of since pretty much um, Siege of Orgrimmar when that was it that was out for over a year. And then they were saying, oh, we're, we're working on the next expansion, we're working on it. And then the new expansion comes out, and then two patches in. I mean, if you can call 6.1 a, a great patch, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, right. the expansion's over. And they did it in such a strange way, where they were like, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, the, we've had two major patches, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, go on. I was going to say, well, even now, like... Um... You know, Blizzard, all throughout Warlords, you know, we're like saying, like, yeah, we're working on, like, the next expansion, working on the next expansion. Dude, Legion ain't coming out until, like, I mean, it, I mean, we had a year of Dragon Soul. We had a, over a year of Siege of Orgrimmar. And we're going to have, th this is going to be the longest patch ever. Yeah, it could be. This, this, I mean, most people are assuming that Legion will come out in the summer of 2016. I believe the deadline's something like 21st-ish of September. Yeah, which is ridiculous. It's like, oh. Like... Like, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. Alright. I don't know. I just... I, I don't know. Uh, there, there's also the fact that when it comes to Legion, to be, to be honest, there is nothing in Legion that is like really... Like, this is kind of like a good thing and a bad thing for me. It's, um, it's sour and sweet. There, there's nothing in Legion that is really like, like, whoa. Like, that's so cool to me. Mm. Besides like, scenery. Besides scenery. I mean, the scenery looks good. You know, it's like, mm. oh, that looks nice. Props to the arts team, actually. Uh, if anything about Warlords was amazing, it was definitely the scenery. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the environments are always awesome. I love it. But, like... The artifact weapons, I mean, it's really cool. Like, the artifact weapons are really cool, but when you go into, like, the artifact <clears throat> weapons, what? Uh, I just, re I just, you reminded me of something I want to talk about. Go on, finish your point first. What I was going to say is that, like, you know, if you go into the artifact weapons and their talent trees, you know, it it's like you're going to be leveling up your artifact weapon, but it's mostly a UI game. It's just mm -hmm. like... Like, okay, you know, you, you grind for who knows how long to get your artifact power, and then, hey, I got an artifact power point, or whatever it's called, and you can put it in, and then it's like, plus, like, like, 2% crit to Shadow Bolt. Well, well that's it's, similar to the, to the old talents. I, I, I know, I know, I know it is. Hmm. But what I'm saying is that this artifact weapon uh, feature is like, uh, b because it's like the old talent system, it's not that, like... Whoa! Yeah, it's something you know, you've it's seen like, before. And we've seen this before. It's it's been done, and it's something that everyone was like, "Oh, you should have never changed it." But, <laughs> um, you know, it's it's not something that I'm like getting hyped over. I mean, like you get some cool abilities. I mean, you get like some like new spells and whatnot with the artifact weapons. But uh, I mean, it's not. I mean, I would say that the artifact weapons and the demon hunter are like the two big things, the two major mm -hmm. thingies. And Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter is pretty fun so far, um, mm. for what I got to see. And uh, the artifact weapons um, are just kind of like okay. Well, th there is something coming that um, we haven't seen yet, and it's the new, the new and improved uh, follower system, mm. where it's meant to be like you, you won't have uh, like twenty to twenty-five followers, like in Warlords, and you just drag them onto a table. Supposedly, you get like I think it's like five, yeah, possibly yeah. Yeah, yeah. five for each class. Um, and the way they work is you drag them onto the missions and then they go out into the world and they tell you about something happening and then you go there yourself and you resolve the issue. Yeah. Um, that sounds kind of interesting. Um, Just all if the there's a, how to work. Exactly. If it's like, go there and kill 10 super easy to kill mobs, I'm just going to be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fill up yeah. a bar, like Apexis Dailies. Yeah, that's probably what it's going to be like. Hopefully it's not like that. Well, we don't know yet. We'll, we'll see what it's like. Hopefully it's online when the alpha comes on. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, like, for me, I mean, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I definitely, I, I really hope, I, I do want to check out the new follower system. I want to see what it's like. Um, I, I, you know, I do want to really experience, like, leveling up my artifact weapon and stuff, which is, you know, like, it's it's cool. Like, I, I do, I do like the artifact system, but I just thought that... Like when I were, whenever I would be like streaming and I'd be looking at like the talent trees and the artifact thing, I guess I, I expected, um, more from it. Mm. I guess I just expected more from it, not not to be just like the vanilla talent trees put on a weapon, mm -hmm. um, with you know the, which is exactly what it is. Um, that was a yeah. I just expected more from it. But uh, that's okay. I mean, like, it's still it's still pretty cool. Um, I want to see. Someone actually made a tweet earlier today, and I I didn't look into it, but I was supposed to. But um, someone made a tweet saying that they're actually putting out more, like artifact weapon skins and stuff. Oh, that's um, good. Yeah, I did think there wasn't that many. Like um, overall, I felt yeah. like from all the previews I'd been seeing, it was only like five skins for each weapon. I was like, I hope there's going to be more added. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I, I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not letting myself get hyped up, and I know for a fact. I mean, it is, I mean, <laughs> I'm, you know, just being honest. Like, I know for a fact that if Legion kind of, and I'm really gonna give like Legion like a, a fair, fair chance. Like, I, I want to raid in Legion. Like, I want to PvP. I want to really check out everything, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. But I mean, if Legion ends up being like a big load of dicks, like. <laughs> I think I'm done. Mm. Like, just, I'm done, like, permanently. All that Legion will need to do for me is just, um, it's just offer an interesting, like, uh, experience in terms of, like, dungeons mainly. That's why I really want to try the new dungeon system. Yeah, 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 definitely. I got a helm. I got a shoulder. A shoulder, not two. Shoulder. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just want, um, like you said about there's nothing in Legion at the moment that really wows you, nothing new. And to be honest, I, I am fine with that. Like, I just want them oh. to improve their, like, core mechanics of the game because, like... <laughs> I, I know people like pet bells, I know there are a few that like pet bells, but over time it feels like a lot of the games become a, a very kind of watered down and there's this, uh, like, the, the four difficulties of raiding, everything's very oversaturated and there was, like, four difficulties of dungeons in Warlords of Draenor and it's mm -hmm. just, like, you don't need all of this, you just need some really good kind of, like, uh, uh, maybe two difficulties and, and define them really well and just, you know... And just, reasons to go back. Yeah, don't throw loot everywhere. Just stop it. Stop throwing loot everywhere. It's like people aren't dumb, you know. They're not like donkeys on a stick. You're not just gonna be like, oh, so, you know, just shoving treats into your mouth constantly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like just, you know, give us a reason to do something, and, and people will do it. You know, you'd be surprised at how you know capable people are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, I I forgot to mention. Um... I, I said at the very beginning of my little rant, I said like, oh, it's a sour and sweet taste. Mm. Uh, I, I talked about the sour taste, of course, um, mm. but I didn't mention the sweet. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like that's what I was gonna get into. Like, 100% agree that like it's a good thing that there's not like a bunch of, or well, it's kind of unfortunate there's not a bunch of whoa, like mm. stuff. But that's kind of a good thing at the same time because oh wow, it's a level 33 elite. Mm. Um, dude, you got very tough. Him. Hold on, I call him. Uh, yeah, there you go, you go. Um, um, but it's also a good thing because it allows, like you said, them to focus more on uh, the core stuff, stuff that's actually important. You know, it's like, oh, we don't, we don't need like, we don't need like this giant garrison system and shit. If like, you know, we can get like more dungeons and more raid content and like stuff like that. You know, yeah. Do you feel me? Yeah, no, I get um, you. I still feel like uh, 10 dungeons, I mean, it's better than what we had in uh, Warlords. Mm -hmm. But um, I would still like more. Still still would like more dungeons. I hope they add more as uh, the expansion goes on. Because yeah. they promised to add more dungeons in both Mists and uh, Warlords, <laughs> and they didn't. Mm -hmm. But um, oh, yeah, I hope so. Anything. Ten's a good number. I think ten's ten's the number they should be aiming for anyway. It still just blows my mind that, like, you know, and I'll never understand it. And I would love it if I could, I mean, if I ever had, like, a true sit-down talk with, like, a Blizzard dev that had been around for a while, I'd be like, you know, how 
how is it that you guys, I mean, like, if you look back at, like, Burning Crusade and, like, Wrath of the Lich King, back when Blizzard had, like, smaller, a much smaller team, it's like, how is it that you guys released more content than current expansions with a smaller team back in the day? Uh, I'm going to imagine budgetary restraints and investor, like, commands, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm going to guess. I but, guess. Uh, as more investors got involved, then they want to see a, a quicker return and a, a more profitable return on their investments. I know, it's ridiculous. It's like, wow. So I'm going to imagine that a lot of the developers at Blizzard have been slapped with a few budgetary restraints and time restraints, and that's mm -hmm. probably why. And they're not allowed to talk about it, probably. That's you know, my guess, anyway. You know, one thing that, um, uh, going on to, like, talking about Wrath real fast and uh, BC, uh, mm -hmm. mostly Wrath. Everybody loves Wrath. I mean, Wrath was... You know, the cat's meow. I, I know a few people that are like, it, it was the baby's expansion still. Oh, I mean, even, you know, I, I, even I have said that in some ways Wrath was too easy, but that's fine. Um, I mean, Wrath was really good. I mean, as a whole, it was great. Um, and It was numerically the best expansion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, and I think that the vast majority of people that have played WoW since, like, day one would probably say, yeah, Wrath was the best expansion. The majority. Um, but, uh, or, or Burning Crusade. It would be a, it would be a, a great war between the two, mm -hmm. um, but uh, anything else I'm supposed to do out here? No, okay. But what I was gonna say is something that I think Blizzard could seriously consider doing is because I remember somebody like uh, I I read an argument uh, online and it was somebody like some people were like defending Wrath of the Lich King. They're like, oh, Wrath of the Lich King was really good, and somebody like brought up the argument saying no, it was it was shit because like um, like. They were saying like something like, "Oh, Wrath of the Lich King was just all like you know rehashed old content." Um, they mean they, like uh, Naxxramas. Like Naxxramas, and that, that's what I'm getting at. Um, like Naxxramas, and then everyone was like, "Yeah, but that that was fun. That's okay." The thing, well, the <laughs> thing about Naxxramas was when it, its first iteration was mm -hmm. like incredibly difficult. I, I think it was probably, uh, I don't quote me on this, but I think it might have been the raid that saw the least amount of people enter it, uh, it was. Uh, and actually do it. Right. Yeah, because you had to get all the gear from the previous raids to actually get in there, and it was damn hard. Mm -hmm. um, so them rehashing that so that people could actually see it, and if it means you know it saves them time to design other stuff in the game, mm -hmm. it's fine by me. Problem yeah, I, mean I have is when they rehash, like, for instance. Um, uh, upper Black Rock Spire, like, why, mm. why did that need to be redone? Yeah, yeah. What was the design beside, like, behind that besides, you know, I don't know, maybe just laziness and just, look, we need, we need an extra dungeon, just redesign one of the old ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would absolutely, like, I, I have nothing wrong with the idea of, like, bringing back an old raid um, and, you know, updating the boss mechanics, maybe updating the bosses and stuff, and uh, allowing players to kind of uh, re-experience that raid as if time has progressed. Mm. I mean, I I think there's nothing wrong with that. I know some people would disagree and say, oh, well, I don't want to, you know, go through Ulduar again, but do like, you know, a new Ulduar. Oh, you know? I, I actually mentioned that uh, I saw a, a nice post in the WoW subreddit about uh, a guild. It's a level 80 guild. Like, they turn off their XP when they get to 80, and they've been... Um... Mm -hmm. Raiding uh, Wrath of the Lich King, and they've been doing Alduar. Mm -hmm. And they actually say that Alduar at the moment, because of the stat squish, is, is still quite a challenge. Oh, yeah, I believe it. So, um, I mean, <laughs> if anyone if anyone wants to do Alduar, get in there. You know, find find a reroll guild and go do Alduar, because damn, that raid is fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember doing Alduar back in the day. Do you want to go back up to where we were? Uh, I still need to get Aloe Vera leaves. Oh, I've okay. just been so. Like scarce. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna follow you then, for a little okay. bit. Um. Um. Oh, uh, yeah. what you were talking about that reminded me of artifact weapons. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say too much because it will spoil my next video. But artifact weapons. Um. Mm. The one issue I have with them, and it's not really to do with their mechanics, because I actually do quite like the mechanics of the artifact weapons. It's more to do with um how they're seen by the player base. Uh, I think we talked about like obviously the, the the best one to point to is the Ashbringer, mm -hmm. and you know it doesn't matter how famous or or how important Blizzard try to make the other artifacts sound, the Ashbringer and probably the Doomhammer are still going to be the ones that you, you know, remember and you're like wow that's cool, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess like 
kind of show you what I mean. Like, so if I ask you, what's the Rat Paladin artifact, you would say... Ashbringer. Exactly. If I asked you what the Enhancement Shaman one was, you would say... That's Doomhammer. If I asked you what the Affliction Warlock artifact is, you would say... Uh, it's the Deadwind Harvester. What's it? Oh, you got it. You got half the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually expecting you to be like, oh. Well, it's because I it's because I uh, did the warlock on the uh, on the alpha. Yeah, yeah. It's the only reason I do that. It's like the Seth something. I don't know. The Ubadubadu. The the, the the Babadook. You completely defeated my argument. But I was gonna say like basically. I, I like, know what you're gonna say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's what's the name of the other artifacts? Like. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, if you were to ask like, what's the rogue? Like, you know, out Yeah, what's the, you know, the off the like top that. of your head, yeah, without going to look it up. Well, what, uh, what's their artifact? The, the, it doesn't matter the, how important Blizzard try to make them sound during their quests and their little descriptions. Yeah, you know, they're not going to have that same weight and that same uh, importance as, like, the Ashbringer or the Doomhammer. Hmm. Oh, yeah, That's just the point I was going to make. That's <laughs> that was, that was uh, a point that I made in my, uh, my Legion First Impressions video, and everybody crucified me for it. Oh. Like, oh, fuck you. I okay. look forward to be on the cross. Why are you ripping on the Ashbringer? Why are you ripping on the Ashbringer, Mukluk? Oh, I don't what, know. What's your problem? I wasn't ripping on the Ashbringer. I was saying the Ashbringer's cool. I said yeah. the other ones are just, you know. Why can't, why can't you just be happy with what you get? Oh, okay. It's like, oh, Excuse okay. me. <laughs> it's I'll be fun. complacent with everything. Yeah. Don't I like to nitpick. Yeah, dude, nitpicking is great. Dude, I'm gonna, dude, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. Like, I'm gonna tell you in advance. Like, when it comes to Legion... I'm gonna nitpick the shit out of Legion when it comes to I think out. everyone will be after Warlords. Like, I'm gonna... I mean, hell hath no fury. Like, <laughs> you will Thanks see. Thanks, so. as long as, the, as long as the dungeons are good, and as long as I'm finding myself logging in for reasons each day to do something in the world, I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah. I'll be happy. That's all I want. That's mm -hmm. all I want. Well, okay. I mean, overall, I mean, Legion looks like it'll, it'll be... I mean, we don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'll play for a we'll couple see. of months, probably. Yeah, no. At least. I know. I'd definitely be playing. I, I will. I can even say now. I'd, I'd say I recommend picking up Legion even before it releases, because you'll still have stuff to do for at least four weeks. You're done, right? Yeah, I did the uh, aloe vera. I've got to right, go. put the seeds in the ground now. You didn't do that? Well, I, I, it was a follow-on to the seeds quest, because someone stole all the seeds, or st someone stole the aloe vera leaves while we were running around. <laughs> Who? Who? It's a Who? shaman guy. Who would do such dirty, a thing? Dirty, disgusting, brown, shit-colored Tauren. You want me to do a forward slash who and find find him? And then yeah, him? I think his name was Charlie or something. Charlie? Oh. Mm. Okay, I'll find him. I'll find that bastard. Go on. Uh, but yeah, I was just gonna say, like, heck, I'd, I'd even recommend Warlords to, like, a new player. Like, I'd even say, yeah, it's worth it for the, the basic price, but I wouldn't... I know, I can't say it's worth it for a recurring subscription. Mm. You get what I mean? Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like I said, though, when it, came to, when it comes to Legion, I'm just going to elaborate on this point, because I know someone might make a comment on it. Um, I said earlier that, like, oh, if Legion isn't good, I'm done. Um, like, I'll still make videos and stuff, but, like, if Legion comes out and the expectations that we have are not met, um, and it's just like, no, no, sorry, then uh, I'm probably going to, I'll, I'll probably cancel my account, or my subscription, mm -hmm. and I'll just, you know, uh, I'll, I'll continue to make videos, but, um, I'm on a probably, trial account, <laughs> on a trial account, but I won't, <laughs> but I won't play the game, probably, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, yeah, or maybe I will, I don't know, mm -hmm. plant those seeds, I'm planting them. Plan another. Makes a little plop noise. Bloop. Yeah, I heard it. It's cute. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> yeah, so. One more. I don't know. I'm just not. I'm. I'm not. Even. Even in the alpha, when I'm like in the alpha and seeing everything, I'm still not letting myself get hyped up. I, I'm excited just for a, a change of scenery. I'm excited for that, but. Change of scenery and and just to get away from an alternate dimension storyline. That's. Yeah. That's what I'm excited for. Yeah. I just want to get this sour taste of Warlords out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, like people, sometimes when I'm streaming, people be like, oh, dude, why don't you go on, like, Nixium or, like, your main or something and, like, do something on there, like, you know, do some LFR or, you know, like, do some dungeons. And I'm just like, why? 
<laughs> why? <laughs> like, I seriously have said that. Like, why? Like, there's nothing... Save up money for Legion. Yeah, it's like, no, I don't... I don't... The, the, I have no... There's no motivation in me to, like, get on my level 100 characters and play. Mm. I'm just like, no. Nah, no. Nah, sorry. Um, but... I, I, I am really excited to... I'm really excited to raid in Legion. Um, once Legion comes out, lots of guilds are going to be recruiting. Mm -hmm. Going to join a guild. Going to check out some of the raids. Because um, I didn't raid very much in Warlords. And I feel like, you know... It, I feel like, again, like I want to give I want to give Legion like the full experience. And really, you know, give it a true chance. Mm -hmm. So, And I, I do like the raids. How they look so far. I think they look pretty exciting. Nice little variety of them. Yeah, Emerald <coughs> Nightmare is the first one, and then you'll have Suramar Palace. Mm -hmm. oh. um, what? what? I want you to speak to this guy. Have yeah, you not yeah. got these? Ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that quest. Kill the guy, and what's over this side? Okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh. <laughs> he did, made the exact same mistake yeah. I did. He, like, turned it in, started to walk away. Oh, wait, turned around. Then mm -hmm. you turn in, walk away. Oh wait, turn around. Yep. Caught myself earlier. It's like, ah. mm. I thought in my head, I was like, man, someone's gonna make a comment on that and be like, oh, Nick Tim, you're dumb. Mm. And I was like, ha ha ha, Mukluk made the same mistake. Yeah. It's great. Hey though. Yeah, dude. Right. In 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 news in 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 other news outside of World of Warcraft and complaining about everything like we always yeah. do. Yeah. Um, which you know everybody loves. Mm -hmm. uh, what 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 what's going on? What's what's going on? What's going on? What's going oh, on? the world's still turning at the moment. <clears throat> what's what what are you doing, McClock? Like how how are things? What, are you, what are you I'm doing? okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. I've been working on my video. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing voices for you. Yeah. Been ordering a few things in. Yeah. Some to pizzas. start maybe. Yeah, pizzas. <laughs> Eating pizzas. pizzas, shoving them in my face. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, I've been talking to fans on Facebook, which uh, let me just say, right, I I am not a social media person. I fucking hate social media so much. Yeah, me too. Like, um, like for anyone who follows me on Twitter or Facebook, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just like, it's just crap that I put up on there because I just I've never felt the need to use it properly. Oh, like there. to put stuff up about myself. I always, I used to have a Facebook account years ago, and over time, it's just filled with people from like school that I never talk to anymore, or, yeah. or people I've had no contact with for years. And I'm, I, all, all it's filled with is just them boasting about what they're doing, or or arguing with each other. That's more common. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, arguing over you know who's got the greatest hair and the only way is Essex. Yeah, uh, that's like that's like a Jersey Shore. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, so I just I just got away from social media for ages. But what I was gonna say is that now that I have a, a Facebook page, <laughs> people have been, you know, they've been sending me messages and been asking a few things, but like private <laughs> messages, and I've been responding to Are them. Are you gay? Are you gay? <laughs> I haven't got that one yet, actually. I oh, haven't. I haven't received that one. You were lucky enough to get that one. Oh, dude, I got plenty, dude. I re mm. I really stat that uh, Q&A video recently and some guy was like, I'm not the only one that thinks that Nixium's gay. I and... should reply to that guy's comment and be like, nah, dude, he's fucking totally gay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I read kind of like a little di discussion ensued and I was just like, oh, just the, the cringe <laughs> that guy. <laughs> I was like, all right, all right. <laughs> he's right, though. He's right. I mean, he's right. I mean, obviously. He's right. I see you at the club every night. I don't know, you know, like... See you at the gay bar, see you lean up there, and you're like, hey, baby, come My, my ass is so sore right now, man, you have no idea. <laughs> like, you have no idea. I see you in your high heels. Yeah, <laughs> my high heels. Yeah, my pink dress. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're definitely not on. the bear. You're not the bear. <laughs> yeah, dude. But yeah, um... But yeah, receiving, like, messages from people and, like, just, uh, interacting with the fans has been kind of nice. Oh. The, the only problem is that... You know, I'm not really the, the the thing with social media for me is that like I I like posting stuff and I like keeping people updated on like you know this is what I'm working on here's a teaser screenshot and seeing like people's reactions and stuff that's fun mm -hmm. but um the the thing is is uh, I see you're being chased by those snicker fang hyenas just keep running all right fine we'll keep running 
But uh, the thing is, like, I mean, y you get so many messages. Mm. Like, you know, like once, like, I don't even know how many likes my Facebook page has, but it, it, a lot of people follow it. And I have, like, so many messages on there. And, like, it, it just, you get overwhelmed, like, very quickly. Especially if you're like me and you like to, you know, really type out, like, big proper replies. Mm. Like, you know, which, yeah. Um, it, I mean, it could quickly lead into, like, oh, just replying to messages, just, like, maybe five or six messages could take, like, an hour of your time. Mm. So, I, I, I have, like, hundreds and hundreds of unanswered messages on Facebook, and it's just, it's it's actually getting to the point where I'm actually seriously considering just disabling messaging me on Facebook. Oh. Um, uh, don't do that. D well, I mean, like, uh, I mean... I mean, like, just a sad day I, I, where I ha you can I sit have, down. I have a means that you can contact me through my email. Yeah. So it's not like I'm cutting off all contact. It's just mm. like, you just kind of wouldn't be able to message me through there. What were you going to mm. say? I, I was just going to say, like, uh, maybe set a day where you can just respond to people through social media. Like, you just, like, sit down for, like, an hour or so and respond to people's messages. You don't have to reply to all of them. I imagine you'll probably get a few repeated... Uh, like questions, right? Like, oh, well, the cool what thing... software do you use and stuff like that? Oh yeah, I mean, like the, the cool thing about FacePlace is you can actually, I don't know if you've seen this yet in the replies that you've sent, but you can actually save replies. Oh, so you can be like, hey, so and so, the program. <laughs> so you can be I like a it. horrible faceless machine and be like, beep, boop, here is your answer, boop, Dude, beep. Dude, I, I have a few replies saved. I, I do like my what programs do you use? That is a, a reply that I have saved. Hello, sir or madam. I use <laughs> After Effects. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Thank I you say for it. the message. I, no, it's like, it says something like it's like it's like hey there. This is a question that I get asked all the time. Like you know, blah blah blah. Like the programs that I use are blah blah, blah for this, blah, blah blah for that, blah blah for this. Thanks for asking your question, sir. Hmm. You, know? you send that to the wrong one. You send it like some guy that's just like, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> and he's just like what? What? Oh, what? I get asked this all the time, and let me tell you. <laughs> you know, what are we supposed to do here? Uh, uh, we gotta ritual. collect melons. Collect a load of melons oh, that are just lying around. Okay. And squeeze them in there. Okay, we can do that. We need... We can do that. <laughs> you need eight. You need eight of them. Okay. I, I know I have a couple melons already, I think. Where are my melons at? Grab my melons. You I have seven nice... melons. Nice firm pair of melons. Give me this melon. Oh, you got seven. I just need one more as well then. I okay. see one. Go get it. Oh, wait, let me loot this guy. Oh, weird traveler. <coughs> but yeah, dude, you can save some replies on there. Sound like a robot. Mm -hmm. Be great. <laughs> Saves you a little bit of time. Uh, I don't think I get I don't get that many messages. Okay, not yet. Oh, yeah. You'll see. You will see. Yeah. You'll be like, oh man, I'll reply to every message. That's how I was. And then it's like, oh gosh. And then you get like, you get like 70 in one day. And you're like, oh. <laughs> I'm not going to reply to every message. Oh. It's great. We'll see. But yeah, it's that been feel, nice man. chatting to people. I feel. Man, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Dude, let me Eat tell you one something. of those melons. No, no. Dude, let me tell you something about like, about like, um, hold on a second, let me just complete this quest, there we go. <laughs> so, I'm on, like, this big, like, uh, workout and, you know, weight loss routine and shit, right? And, oh, gosh, like, <laughs> like, I, like, oh, man, I, like, I'm eating all this, like, food that, like, normally I wouldn't eat, and mm -hmm. it's nasty. Healthy food. Like, salad? Like, <laughs> no, I can eat a salad, no problem. I got this, like, nasty-ass, like, fiber cereal the other day. Mm. And I was like, oh, yeah, so I'll eat this nasty-ass fiber cereal. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Oh, look, maple brown sugar flavored. Okay. It doesn't taste like that at all. And where so... Are we going this way? I don't know where we're going. Let's just go to the quest. So it's like... It's like... I don't like it. Mm. I don't like it. It's terrible, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's what, what I'm getting at is I'm hungry. Mm. I think we uh, we chatted earlier about like doing certain exercises, and I told you I was doing like lunges. Uh, oh! And after you do lunges, it feels like your legs are just jelly, and you're like, Ooh. you're walking around like I don't know, some kind of weird goblin creature. <laughs> I ac I actually do have the plan that um, 
I'm not gonna do it like I'm like I'm not you know like start filming this tomorrow, but uh, I actually do have the plan seriously like no joke to do kind of like a video series on my channel kind of showing this pr like my progress as I go Ooh. um and uh yeah the brave young woman you are the brave young lady that I am I don't need no man mm -hmm. um <laughs> you know like uh like maybe like every like two months or something like you know I'll use like a bunch of footage that I've uh, that I've taken and that I've done and I will I will edit it together and kind of explain this is what I'm doing this is why I'm doing it yada 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 because I've I, there's a lot of uh, channels oh, we totally just did a 180 in subjects here but there's a lot of channels on YouTube that um, like tell you a lot about like you know exercise and losing weight and stuff like that but there's not really I mean I'm sure there are channels like this but there's not really any channels that I've found so far that really kind of like it's a person that's gone through the process and they kind of sit you down and say like this is how you gotta start this is what mm -hmm. you gotta do usually it's just like hey like do this exercise yeah you know like that's it it's like oh well I mean it's all about the mindset man Big Maddie gave me like the best advice ever and he told me he was like mm. he said all you need to do it's like you just need to get in this mindset all you need to do is you need to look at exercise and eating right and stuff and just don't look at it like a chore mm -hmm. like once you get in the mindset that you want to do this you're you're all set mm -hmm. you know so it's just like it's kind of like this internal switch that you got like somehow through your girlfriend telling you that like you look like a piece of shit <laughs> or maybe your parents say they're gonna kick you out of their house or something I'm not saying any of this has happened to me by the way um, mm -hmm. <laughs> But um, whatever, like something's gotta happen that like makes you click in your head, mm. and like flips that switch, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. But yeah. I always tend to find that like if you're gonna do some exercise, well, I mean, like I, I'm I'm no I'm no buff dude by any chance, but I do it to keep like my weight down and everything since you know we do a lot of editing myself. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like just do like a nice simple little routine. Um, I have like I have like a few uh, cheap little weights that I use to do some reps with and uh, I do like basic leg exercises like lunges and uh, squats and everything like that. Hell, even even one of them is just going up and down stairs a lot. If you oh, have dude. stairs in your house, just go up and down stairs like loads of times and just work out for like <laughs> like half hour a day and it just keeps your weight down. Dude, I'm, there's uh, <laughs> this one exercise in quotes that I, mm. it's probably a legit exercise but I, I, I kind of invented it myself um and it's it's very simple and uh, no one told me to do it i just have been doing it but like when I, and it looks i if someone ever caught me doing it like they'd be like what the fuck are you doing like <laughs> do you just do you just spaz out do you just sit there and like go, <laughs> you just like no, no, constantly no. burn no, off no. all the calories but just flailing <laughs> no no what i do is like whenever like uh, most of my weight is in my legs right and so um, what I'm doing is I'm using my weight to my advantage, right? Um, right? And so what I'm doing is whenever I like walk somewhere in my house, like if I go to the kitchen or if I, you know, uh, wherever, you know, what I do, or I'll do is do this in my room for about like maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Um, I do this walk where it's like it's kind of like a like an over exaggerated like freaking north korean march pretty much mm -hmm. where it's like whenever you like pick up your foot you like lift your like knee as high as you can go so it like goes above your belly button and you take oh. very very tiny I, steps i think i i think i even i used to do that like super I, I tiny even I steps used to do that. it's like where you just fucking <laughs> jog on the spot really fast yeah, I mean, it, it should take you, like, like wow, five Nixium. minutes. What a clever exercise. <laughs> it's just so clever, right? Wow. It's so clever. Listen, oh, wow. it should, it should no take you, it should take you, it should take you, like, five to ten minutes just to reach I love the that you kitchen. say it up, like, I invented this <laughs> way of exercise. And it's just, it's Listen. just basically I run on the spot. Fuck no, you. no, 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 that's not what it is. That's not what it is, you, you polywog. <laughs> that's not what it is. It, no, it's like... You, you're lifting your leg like very very high your knee oh, so okay. you're just using using that weight you know you're using it oh. 
You're a genius. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's something it's something very little that it's not like, you know, a serious thing. It's just a little thing that you do in the background. And let me tell you something. Do that for do that for 5 minutes like straight and you're you're eventually going to want to kill yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's great. And then like, dude, I did like these two extreme workout days or leg workout days, uh, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday and the day before that. Mm -hmm. And my ass and my legs are like super fucking sore right now. It's great. You shouldn't be at the gay bar so much. Yeah, I was gonna talk. I was gonna mention that earlier. What? 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 We we need to kill more things. Did you did you charge your vortex? No, I thought like the you vortex that was following you was also gonna like I don't know. <laughs> I'm part of these ghosts and just kill them. I thought I would count for both of us. Ah. You were treading upon sacred ground. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Never mind. Let's find more. There's one. Oh, look. You're feeding your little baby vortex. He's yeah. gonna grow up big and strong. Yeah. Where is she? Dude. There she is. Come That's over one. here. The only way. It's like, hey, we need this giant fire volcano. So hmm. go kill these ghost women to charge up the fire volcano. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you say, Alun. That's magic science. Magic science. Yeah. Oh boy. Ah. There we go. It's like spirit science. Yeah. <laughs> spirit science. <laughs> I mentioned that on my stream the other day. <laughs> A few people talked about it. I was like, oh gosh, that. Oh boy. Oh boy. How many Here I go killing again. How many? How many do we need to kill? Uh, I'm not sure until your until your vortex is nice, big, and strong. We've technically been in this like one corner of this map for like two episodes. It's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. We went to the forested area. Yeah, uh, well, that's true. Let's see, um, let's look over here. Where is she? Come on. I'm sure there's more ghosts. walking around. Mm. They're all up here too, right? Yeah, pretty much. Should be. It's their ruin. I think we might have murdered them too quick. Oh my goodness. I mean, you murdered them too quickly. <laughs> too, <laughs> too efficient of a killing machine. Yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. Where are they? Probably once we turn in this quest, maybe we will, uh, we can wrap it up because we have yeah. been recording. Oh, well, we have to, an hour we have to do the grand already. finale of murdering 40 point defenders and 15 merchants. What? We got, that's the follow-up quest. Use the vortex to murder thousands upon thousands of people. Oh really? I didn't know that. Oh, there's one. Yeah, get her! I don't think I've ever actually done this quest before. Oh, there's actually two up here. Good. Oh, nice. Your kind doesn't belong here, Torin. Oh. I need to work on my How To Monk video, friend. Oh, yes. When's How To Rogue coming out? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> vortex, yeah. yeah I think it drank out of one of them and then not the other. Yeah, come on, vortex. We have to find another one. Come on, boy. Um, <laughs> heal. Um, when's how to rogue coming out? After how to monk? Of course. When's how to warrior coming out? My my how to uh, that's last. My how to <laughs> monk video is looking pretty good so far. Actually, it's gonna be weird when you finally wrap that series up, isn't it? Uh, and then I get to start the new series. How to do something else. Yeah, like how to... I'll like do like the classes. You mean the races? No, the classes. You're already doing the classes. No. What? No. What? No, I'll you do doing the classes, the classes next. Like maybe already... I'll, I'll start with, uh, I'll start with Death Knight. What? Yeah. Oh, you, it's series two. Yeah. Series two of the How to, do Death, how to do Death Knight, again. Up to Death Knight again. <laughs> How original. How original. Gosh, man, such, such original ideas. Where are these ghost women? I want to have these women. Fuck. God damn it. They've been ghost busted. Yeah, they, yeah, they have been busted. God damn. Higgly, diggly, hickory dickory dock. Let's go down to here. Um, there might be one down here somewhere. Well, oh, while we're looking for the ghosts, I, I have a... a, a I don't know. A, a hypothesis for you. Hypothesis, okay. Hypothesis. So, remember you almost met Chris Metz in the BlizzCon. Yeah, and then a he scary was. man stopped me. Yeah, and a big scary man stopped you and was like, we're gonna get out of here, break your fucking legs. And yeah, then yeah. Like, um, 
but like, what if you went to BlizzCon again, Chris Madsen, he comes up to you, and he's like, he's like, I know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Hey, no, we just need to get to the other quest over the. Okay, so Chris Madsen comes up to you, right? Okay. BlizzCon. He comes up to you, and he says, he says, I know you. You're Nixium. You're Nixium from YouTube. I've seen your videos. Mm -hmm. I've seen your videos. How would that make you feel if he was like, I see you. Like, oh, dude, I've seen you too. You're in all, like, you're in plenty of my videos, Chris. I've seen you. And then, and then after he says that, he says, yeah, your videos are fucking shit, faggot. And then he spits in your eye and walks off. How, what would you do? I'd be like, Chris. I'd like touch my heart. Would you touch the spit and just be like, mm -hmm. like get <laughs> it and you spit and just like, mm, put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be my reaction as well. It'd be really socially awkward. I couldn't imagine what that would be like. <laughs> no, no, I know what I'd Chris do. Chris Metzen himself he's... says he thinks your videos are shit, and then he just walks off, and then <laughs> you'd be like, oh, okay. <gasps> ah, ah. Oh, God, run away. Ah. Hold on. I ah. meant to use. Oh! Ah. I've been tagged. Go away, you lion smash. He's still <laughs> shooting at you. <laughs> okay. Can a Tauren walk down the road in peace? How are you supposed to... Okay. I think you're meant to use it here. No, wait. Requires new... Right, right at the railing, so it's like right here. Okay. Don't get too close. Oh! Yeah, go. Oh, you did it. Take that! Wait. Oh! I see you. Um... Oh! Here we go. Oh. Incinerate an enemy to death. Okay. That's what it says. Look at me. Hmm. It's like vanilla you're killing everything all over again. Yeah, you're killing everything before me. Good. Tend oh. to have an F6 as fast as I can. I'm, I'm <laughs> spamming it. I'm, I'm spamming that button. Oh. You, you're murdering. For some reason, it doesn't count when you kill him. Uh. Oh. Uh, what is that thing? Uh, 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 oh wait, let me use both two fingers, two hands for this. <laughs> two hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally just, one one hand is pressing tab and the other one is pressing my fire max, button. You gotta max your APM. What is that thing? <laughs> Jam Shark having a great time. Tauren are just a, a Tauren are a peaceful race. A, pe a peaceful people. We need to kill some merchants. Yeah. I don't know. It, it just seems to be on a path. So. Is that a merchant? Take that. Take and that, I, merchant I scum. I keep grabbing the guards. I need to get. I need to grab the merchants. There's one. Take that. Take that. Ah. I love the screams that mm. like, Blizzard did back in Wrath. They're so terrible. <laughs> ah. uh. Need three more merchants. Take this. This is for we're, Camp Tarajo. We're hogging all the murder. Dude, I'm done. I'm going I home. I want to murder innocent merchants as well. I'm going home. Yeah, we're going home. Hey, I'll, I'll join you in the sec after my murder is done. Okay. And so Charles flew away in the raging vortex. Oh. What if you're in, like an alliance player and you're like questing in there and also a giant fire tornado just rolls in? You're like, oh. I reckon this is all phased. Oh, well, of course, but I'm just trying to be funny. <laughs> oh, alright, yeah. You're, as an alliance player, you'd just be like, What the fuck is going on? What's going on? What's going on? And so ends. Victory with lies fire ahead. Our enemies it looks like fall. it. It looks like a torrent spinning around in a, in a firestorm. Looks like an idiot. It's like some idiot in mismatched gear in the heart of a firestorm spinning around, murdering everyone. Hmm. Please send help. I'm waiting for you. I know you murdered so efficiently that there's no <laughs> merchants <one> left. <laughs> Dude, kill those merchants, man. I'm trying. What can we talk about while I spam one? I'm so sore. 
Oh, everything hurts. Oh, so, I love it. So sore. It means I did something right. Oh boy. Today I'm doing core. So Billy, Bill Billy. Oh, I got another. I got another hypothesis for you. Oh great, here we go. Okay, so we're set. It's it's uh it's the distant future, the year two thousand eighteen. Oh, wait. Okay. I was supposed to say something. Oh, before, okay. Before the firestorm uh, started, we were talking about Chris Metzen, and oh, he mentioned okay. socially awkward stuff. And yeah. what I was going to say <coughs> is that if Chris Metzen came up to me and he was like, "Your videos are shit," and he, like spit in my face, I would say, "You too." You too. <laughs> <laughs> you too. You too. Happy he'd turn birthday. around. He'd be like, "You calling me shit?" And then he'd punch you in. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> you, you too. <laughs> Happy birthday, Moo Cluck. Mm, happy birthday. You too. <laughs> you too. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You ever said that to someone? I have, have, I, I, I have actually. I've said it in a... I think I said it in like Burger King once. But like, uh, have a lovely meal. And I was like, thanks, you too. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm, dude, the one place I, I've done it at like so many times is the movie theater. It's like, enjoy the movie. You too. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, sorry. I need to look away. Like, sorry. <laughs> or, or like the, or at a birthday party, implying I've ever had a birthday party. But <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, dude, happy, happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> like you too. <laughs> Thanks, you too. I love it. It's my favorite. Mm. <coughs> All anyway, right. What were you gonna say? Second, tell your, second, tell me your second, dumb okay. hypothesis. So this, it's the year, the distant future, 2018. Okay. Hey, Blizzard Entertainment headquarters, Chris Madsen, and all the other, you know, big devs like Mike Morheim and. Uh, and uh, uh, Terran Gregory and all those, they're all sitting around in a room. And they're like, guys, like Chris, he says, guys, we need help. We've, we've officially run out of ideas. There's nothing left for us to do. There's, okay. there's nothing we can come up with. We, we need ideas now. And uh, you know, they, they, t they look around and none of them have any ideas. And, and Chris Madsen's like, you know, there's only, there's only one man who could save World of Warcraft now. And he, he, he gets on the intercom and he's like, Meredith, because that's the name of his secretary. She, she's like Meredith, get me Nixium. Yeah. He calls you and he's like Nixium, we need an idea for an expansion. You know, we we only have we only have 15 subscribers left, and they're not <laughs> buying anything off the Blizzard store. We need help. Just make a just make an yeah. entire Blizzard store expansion. Like the whole <laughs> expansion is you you buy you pay sixty dollars, Chris, and you get access to a. Like, you get access to all this new stuff that you can buy on the Blizzard store. Like, you can buy, like, more zones. You can, like, buy, like, more mounts. You can buy a new class. And you can buy, like, with real money, like, epic raid gear. So it's like, instead of, like, going and doing a raid, you actually, like, you know, band together with, like, a couple of your friends. And you all pitch $20 each. And then you, you know, potentially have the chance of a piece of gear dropping. But if it doesn't, then next week after the lockout, you all pitch $20 again. And then you have a chance of a piece of gear dropping. I think I might have just created a machinima idea by saying all of this, mm. by the way. <laughs> it's he's the like, next WoW expansion. Like, he hangs up the phone and he's like, thanks, man, you're a genius. Thanks. <laughs> no problem, man. I, I totally just made a new machinima video. I'm going to write mm. that down once we're done here. <laughs> I'm going to call it Warlords of Store Wars. Warlords of Storage. <laughs> no, Warlords of Store Wars. Okay. World of Warcraft. And just throw my, <laughs> just throw as many wars in there as possible. Wars? Yeah, the word war. World of War, war Warcraft War. War, war wow. of the World of Warcraft. World Warlords of the War Stores. Mmm. Just two more merchants. Just two more. Oh my goodness, kill them It already. takes ages for them to respawn. <laughs> kill them already. Trying. I've got an episode to wrap up over here. Okay. All right, mm. one more. All right. There he is. Got him. Okay, back to base. Okay. I'm going home. <sighs> after after that casual massacre. Horde, remember on remember Cromgar. Honor, never forsake it. <laughs> Honor, never forsake. Killing all the happy merchants. Yeah, killing merchants. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for ya. I'm coming in for landing. Here I come. Wee. Hey, friend. Hey. Hey. Let's hand this in. Turn your quests. Alright. 
we're gonna wrap it up here. We've okay. Been, we've been doing this long enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Do you have any final closing comments, friend? I wish we could have killed more people in this episode. Yeah, no, that would have been great. And a giant fire tornado, preferably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's well, wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Ten. My I'm turn. Gonna, I'm going to go get something to eat. Okay. So, yep, can't get in that tent. Nope, too big. <laughs> All right, well, the, the greatest adventure is what lies ahead. Farewell, everyone. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> <laughs>